How you doing? I'm Connor Steffen, Material Handling Product Manager, Erie Tech, a division of Purvis Industries, and we're here today to discuss why you would use a shafted versus a shaftless screw in your conveyor application. First, we need to understand the characteristics of the material being conveyed. Some of the characteristics include particle size, density, moisture content, flowability, flammability, and abrasiveness. Then we need to understand how the conveyor will be fed, the overall length of the conveyor, and the degree of incline. Shafted screws are better suited for steeper inclines and longer lengths, whereas shaftless will be able to convey irregularly shaped material more efficiently. Next, we need to know capacity, how much material we're trying to move from point A to point B over a given period of time. There are capacity considerations for each screw conveyor style. Hanger supported shafted, close coupled shafted, and shaftless. With a traditional shafted, hanger-supported screw, we're able to accommodate longer runs, and from a maintenance perspective, we're able to service individual wear components. With shafted, close-coupled screws, we're able to eliminate the hanger bearing and pocket where material builds up and could potentially cause issues. With shaftless screws, we're able to move material in mass to increase capacity while decreasing speed, which can lead to overall longer component life. Another important factor when considering shafted versus shaftless as environmental conditions. Things such as temperature, moisture content, humidity, and condensation. For example, material with higher moisture contents in warmer or cooler environments may be better suited for shaftless screw conveyors. Thanks for taking the time to view this video. If you have any questions or need any assistance with any of your conveying applications, do not hesitate to give us a call here at Erie Tech, a division of Purvis Industries.